Hey guys, welcome back to Hypno's Travels. My name is Hypno. This is now episode 16. Um, yeah, so I am ready to start enchanting some things. You can see that I'm level 4 right now. I've actually recorded this a little bit out of sync. Um, and let's go ahead and <laughs> take care of this zombie who apparently has spawned up on my one piece of block that isn't lit. Oh, <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> it was funny. When I uh, left earlier, I went over to the starting base house is where I just came from. And I heard a zombie around here. I'm all looking around like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Down here. Zombies getting quieter. <laughs> over here. Still not hearing anything. And I guess the zombie's been up there the entire time because I just went back to the starting point house. Uh, recorded a little bit, which you'll see in just a uh, few minutes. And I just saw him hanging out here on my way back. I thought that was pretty hilarious. Uh. Oh, man. Oh, fail. You drop anything good? Just some experience? Guess I should probably pillar up there and put, pop a torch at the top of there. There. <laughs> That'll solve that problem. All right, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here and jump into what I was recording earlier so you guys can take a look for yourselves. See you in a minute. All right, guys, so I have just reached uh, my first level 50. Well, I guess I just went over level 50, but it's kind of hard to judge when you're collecting mobs to kill them in mass. Uh... You know, get it right exactly at level 50. Uh, these guys didn't die. These are probably one or two hit kills left. I'm going to save them. There's only 14. But I'm going to do my enchantment and then kill those guys off. Um, I want to enchant this pick that we made a while ago. I wanted to save this for level 50 enchantments. Okay, so this is set up for the highest level. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Let's just give it a few clicks. If it takes too long, I will make a cut and I will be back when we get level 50. Now, I know that various different levels give you, you know, the ability to get more or different um, enchantments. But I really just want to see what we can do at level 50. I, I think I've heard level 38 is probably the best for Silk Touch. I might go for that later. Uh, for now... I just want to do the biggest enchantment that's possible and hopefully we get lucky. Uh, I would like to see fortune, um, efficiency 5, I think. And yeah, um, you think you can get up to 3 enchantments with level 50. I'm not really sure what point that kicks in we can get that many enchantments. But we are going to check this out and... Uh, I'll check back in when I get to level 50. Hopefully, I don't skip over it. That would really suck. I've heard people take some, like, you know, 10 or 15 minutes to get that. All right, guys. I will see you in a bit. All right, guys. Here we are. Level 50. <laughs> I was almost clicked past it. Oh, man. This took me... I would say about three or four minutes. It wasn't too long, but hopefully this is good and we won't have to do this ever again. <laughs> All right, here we go. What do we get? Uh, bam. Efficiency four and unbreaking three. Well, that's a pretty good mining pick. Uh, not Doesn't have fortune on it. That's too bad. Think we'll be able to live with it though. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go back and farm some more of these mobs. I'm gonna kill these guys off real quick, and uh, we'll try and get to level 50 again. All right, guys. So I just went ahead and used the experience farm a little bit more. Um, just putting some of these drops away. Yeah, this definitely is a lot better. Uh, when you kill all the mobs and you walk forward real quick and pick up all the items. Uh, it's right about when the entity count reaches about a thousand in the entire uh, Minecraft world. That starts speeding up again. Once it's above that amount, it's really, really laggy. Um, so I made another diamond pickaxe. What I'm looking for is a 
fortune enchantment. So we're going to do another level 50. Um, hopefully I can get something soon. <laughs> I'll let you guys know when I get to level 50. Or when I get a, a level 50 over here, I mean. See you in a bit. Okay, guys. I really, 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 really wanted to get a level 50 enchantment. But... Seriously, I've been clicking on this window for like the last 20 minutes and I am done. Fix your game, Jeb. <laughs> no, but seriously, this enchantment thing is really stupid. We really need some kind of a way where you can say, okay, I want to spend this many experience points. I mean, I understand the randomness is supposed to be fun. This isn't fun. This is just monotonous. Anyway, rant over. Let's go ahead and see what we can get with the <laughs> level 49. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want... I want... What do I want? I don't even remember what I want. What do I want? I want... Fortune. That's what I want. Fortune. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. And... Well... Okay. That's not bad. Not bad. Not what I wanted, but not bad. I'm um, gonna have to try again for fortune. <laughs> oh man. But, uh, Silk Touch, yeah. I can go with that. I mean, that's something that I definitely wanted. And we got our efficiency on breaking one. This one's gonna last for forever and cut through everything. Yeah. Alright, so, um, I will continue <laughs> experience farming. And hopefully we can get a fortune axe or pickaxe pretty soon. I also want to um, get a looting sword. And I think I want to enchant a diamond axe for, uh, you know, chopping down wood and things like that. All right. Um, I will collect some more experience points and we'll enchant something else. <laughs> All right, guys. So I leveled up to level 50 once again. I've made yet another diamond pickaxe. Let's um, just review real quick. So the first one we made was efficiency 4 and I'm breaking 3. We have silk touch and efficiency. So now what I'm looking for is um, fortune. Really, 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 really want a fortune pickaxe. Hopefully this time it won't take me, you know, forever to get it, to get level 50. And hopefully this time we will get the enchantment that I'm looking for. So I will keep clicking away here for a little bit. Hopefully we'll get like, you know, really, really high 40s or level 50. I'll check back in in a minute, guys. All right, guys. So um, I've been clicking for a little bit, <laughs> as usual. Um, I think 48 is probably high enough. So let's see what we can get here with a level 48 enchant. Please, fortune. Oh, well, I guess ask and you shall receive, but that's too bad that was the only enchantment. Okay, well, that works. I can now get, you know, a great amount of coal and redstone and things like that. Um, not too bad. All right, so I think we are done enchanting things for a little bit. Uh, let's move on to something else. Okay, guys, so we are down here at the starting point base. We are in the branch mine. I figured uh, what better thing to do with uh, some brand new pickaxes. Well, I guess we should probably use that shovel down here. Then test them out. Um, pretty interested in seeing like how efficient efficiency 4 is. And apparently I'm breaking through. will make this thing last about forever. So let's... Wow, that's like creative mode fast. <laughs> I like that. That is awesome. Okay. So I mined out at the very end. I know where these stop. So these are 100 long. I'm just going to go down here and, you know, just check out <laughs> what we can do as far as this pick goes and see if we can get any ores. Uh, I want to see, like, fortune work. Uh, I want to see the silk touch work. Let's see. One, two, three, four... Yeah, I know I spaced the torches in these branch mines a little close, but, you know, that's fine. It's not really a big deal. Oop. Just went right through that sand like nothing. A lot of sand. Man, this is awesome. I think uh, click mining is probably faster than holding the button down. 
Oh yeah, click mining is super fast. <laughs> oh, there's some ores. Alright. Well, that's just iron. Not really a big deal. I don't think fortune works on those. I think fortune only works on uh, ores that drop items like coal, diamond, redstone. And I don't even know how much of an effect it has on redstone from what I hear. It makes redstone drop up to like six instead of like four or five. Not too sure on that. Uh, but still, that's pretty cool though. If you can get, you know, lots of redstone every time. Okay, so there's fortune three. Let's see. Um, what was that? That was four. That was five. Is that all of them? Okay, so I had nine before. Now I have 17. Right? That's a lot. Wow, that's like eight pieces off one redstone. Hmm. So maybe fortune does a little bit better than I was thinking on the redstone. I have to start using it for that for sure. Whoops. <laughs> Man, this pick just goes through dirt like nothing. Hey, get out of here, lava. Nobody likes you. <laughs> oh, lava pool there. Um, block that off. Go back with more. Uh, there's nothing up there. I'm just gonna have to go around this. I think. So one of the things that sucks about you know branch mining at this level, this is you know right at the bedrock level. You have to deal with lava and stuff. Um, generally, I kind of like dig over it and things like that. I know it's probably better just to mine at like, um, what is it, level 10 or 11 or something like that. You just don't ever have to deal with lava, these lava pools. But I think it's just a little more interesting. It, you know, branch mining is pretty boring uh, without, you know, obstacles like this. Yeah, whoop. A little bit of fire damage, or lava damage. Um. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing too good, and this is kind of a waste of time. All right. Well, made some progress. Okay, some more fortune action. Um, I'm not sure if there's lava right behind this one. No. Man, look at that. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can risk count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So much redstone. Loving this fortune pick. Oh, man. It's nearly a stack out of that many. Wow. I kind of want to collect some redstone ore, so I'm probably going to use my silk touch in the future. Um, whoops. Not there. Right there. <laughs> Living dangerously. Oop. Okay, well, I'm done playing around with that side. Uh, apparently, there's a big lava pool in the way. Uh, let's head down this other way. Hopefully, uh, we can make a little progress. I really want to find some diamond ore. I really want to see diamond you know, break into multiple pieces using fortune. Oh man, these picks. Cutting through this stuff is just amazing. Love it. Glad I took the time to get that experience farm set up. Now I got all the tools in the world to build whatever I want. Alright, and here's a lapis lazuli block. I'm using the silk touch efficiency for pickaxe. Let's see if we can get one of these blocks. Awesome. Okay, here's some more. Let's soak touch it. Oh yeah, that is really cool. All right. I kind of want to test some things out with the redstone ore blocks. Maybe like use them as some kind of a pressure plate without the pressure plate so there's no noise. Uh, these things illuminate when you walk over them so they cause like a block update. I think they might even do a redstone signal when they're turned on. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to play around with this. Um, I think there's a couple of pretty neat things you can do if what I think is correct. 
Uh, I'm going to keep digging along. Hopefully we will find some diamonds. Be back in a bit. All right, guys, so I've been collecting a little bit of coal uh, in its ore form. Just kind of want to check that out as well. But then I realized that I had my fortune pick, and I probably should be using that. Uh, let's see what we get here. Well, that's like four pieces. I guess, I don't, I don't know how much the max is, but four seems like it should be about right. Well, there's another four. Two. Looks like four again. Four. Three. Oh man, I'm gonna have coal forever. And look at all that. That is so awesome. Oh, that was more than four, I'm sure. That was like five. Just one, really? St Dingy cave. Uh, just one. Uh, four. Another four. Just one, really? Shh. Oh man, that fortune enchantment is is awesome. Still looking for some diamond. Um, diamond isn't any less rare than it used to be. So I'm gonna keep digging, and I'll check back in if I find some. Uh, one more thing, I have been trying out the um, <laughs> that super fast digging where like you stand back as far as you can go, press the button and run forward and it like, breaks all the blocks. Only problem with doing that is, if I hit diamond, I won't get a chance to use my fortune enchantment on it. Whoa, or <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> uh, okay, place blocks. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to go around that lava pool again. All right, guys. Um, I'll check back in if I find some diamond. Okay, guys. So I went to the branch mine. I just got back. I dug a few more tunnels. Didn't find any more diamond. Um, but I did end up with, you know, the two lapis lazuli ores, the 20 coal ores, the 11 redstone ores. I kind of want to play around with that redstone real quick. I'm not sure what we can do here. Uh, apparently I don't have any redstone down here, so I am just going to break one of these ores for some redstone real quick. And I am interested in seeing if we pop a redstone ore right like that. If that lights up this. And it doesn't. Okay. I wasn't sure if it did or did not, but that is good to know. It almost seems like it should though. Hmm. Yep, does not. What about if I go underneath? Oop. <laughs> uh, well, we'll just put a block there for now. Yep, that's not lit. Okay, that's too bad. But you can still use this for a block update. I can use it for my storage. I can put the diamond ore in the wall or something behind a chest or above a chest or something like that to signify we have redstone ore or redstone in that chest. So that is good either way. Let me soak touch that back. And then I had some regular stone on me yet. We'll just <laughs> leave that that brick down there. That's fine. Okay, so I wanted to work on the experience farm just a little more. Uh, when I throw a splash potion in there and there's like 600 something mobs, it's just a ridiculous amount of items that, you know, appear here. And we have like 2,000 entities in the world. Um, so I don't really think I need much more rotten flesh. I don't think this will ever become an important part of the game. Arrows I'm doing pretty good on. Uh, bones I'm doing pretty good on. So basically what I'm going to do is after I get these chests completely full. Uh, these chests aren't staying here by the way. This is just temporary. But once I get these chests completely full of those materials. I'm just going to start destroying you know, what comes out of these mobs when we kill them. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to remove that pumpkin down here. Re remove this glass. I'm thinking back here I'm going to have... Well, this will be a solid block. I'm going to have a piston. Um, I th think... Well, a piston's going to push a block up like right here. And then when I press a button, this block's going to go down. 
lava that's sitting right back there, right where that floating piece of cobblestone is, it's going to flow out. And it'll be timed just enough so when the lava travels right to here, this will come back up and this lava will go away. Uh, I'm going to do some digging around here. I need to make sure I take into account, you know, this redstone stuff down here. I don't want to get in its way. But it's going to need its own RS Nord latch. It's going to need its own separate timing system. So I'm going to do a little bit of digging, you know, get this all prepared, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So I have been working on the redstone for this for a while. I ended up tearing out this whole section, moving things around. I put the section back because I didn't need to put it there. I was originally going to put the piston below this block, so this block moved up and down. But I decided... Uh, since there's a whole bunch of vertical wiring over here, it's going to mess with the piston. The piston will probably go into like butt switch mode and all sorts of wacky things. I decided to put it on this side. Um, so in doing that, I had to move the switch for turning the spawners on and off. I'm probably going to move it up here or move it down here. I'm not sure just yet what's going to happen, but uh, behind this block is our lava, so it cannot be right there. Uh, okay, so let me go ahead and show you how this works real quick. Uh, do we got any junk blocks on me well we got some cobblestone we can throw up here okay so say that's a thousand <laughs> mob drops uh, the mobs just died I got experience in my face press the button that block drops lava comes out and just right as the lava flows over this goes back up cutting the lava off and it goes away so we don't have to worry about that flowing out um, the lava is only flowing two blocks, so it is possible if something, you know, messes up that it could, you know, continue down this way, and that would be a problem. Uh, one thing I can do is put a sign on this block. I could put a trap door, maybe a fence gate in between. I mean, there's a bunch of different ways I can do to prevent that from happening. Uh, but let's take a look at the redstone wiring real quick, uh, since I kind of <laughs> did all of that off camera. Uh, okay, so the buttons right here, it's kind of the same setup. There's a piece of redstone dust underneath it, a redstone dot right here. Uh, this redstone dot powers this repeater, goes to this block, to this repeater. And we travel down along here into the vertical style RS Nor latch. I've shown this before for the crusher setup. Um, so when this gets powered, this torch turns off, this one turns on. It sends power along this redstone line right here down our timer. This is seven. No, it's eight repeaters on the full tick, on four ticks each. Um, this also sends power up here into a redstone repeater. Let's see if I can show where that goes. Can't really see it. So it goes into redstone repeater <laughs> under this block. I believe it goes through this block right here, and then there's another repeater. And then that, there's a uh, redstone torch. Yeah, there's the other repeater, and there's the redstone torch. So when this gets power, this depowers, the piston goes down. Let's see if we can see that. There we go. The, it loses the power, the piston goes down, comes back up, the lava stops flowing. So this is going to get rid of most of... You know, the drops that we don't want from the enemies when we uh, kill them like a whole big group with a potion. So this will be really cool. Um, I think the next thing to do, well, after cleaning up all this redstone and, you know, I need to do something about these floors. I need to get like some kind of like permanent um, maintenance area to go down in there. Maybe through here or something, whatever. Um, the next thing to do, let's clean this up. Let's fill this up full of mobs. Kill a whole bunch of them and just see how this works with like the game super laggy. I'm really interested in seeing if it'll work the same way or if the lava is going to freak out and come down here. I hope that doesn't happen. But like I said, we can fix that with just like a sign or something on that block. Alright guys, I'm going to clean this up real quick and we'll be back. Alright guys, so I cleaned up this area quite a bit. And I've collected a whole lot of mobs here. Let's press F3. Um, what is that? It is 580. That's a lot. Okay. So I turned off mob spawning. So no more should be coming into this area. Let's go forward. Press the crusher. 
We've seen this before, but we gotta do it still. Oh, frame rate. Okay. Should be just about done. Oh, that actually killed one. I think that's the first time I've ever seen one mob die from this setup. Okay, not not too worry, just one mob, whatever. Okay, so let's kill him with this and then press that button down there to try and destroy the mob drops. Um Come on, down a little further. Down a little further. <laughs> <laughs> Press the button. Hit a five so we can kind of see. Okay, well, I think that pretty much worked, but it didn't get all the drops. Some of them fell down below, so... Um... How are we doing in my inventory? Not too bad. Let's pick up those items and just see how much was left behind. Um, okay, what do we got here? This is now... Oh, there wasn't too many arrows and... Yeah, that pretty much got most of the drops. I mean, only 30 rotten flesh, 12 bones, and like 8 arrows. <laughs> okay, so I will be back as soon as all this experience gets done uh, blinding me. Okay, guys. Well, I haven't collected all the experience just yet. Uh, but, you know, the game's not laggy anymore. Just a little bit of the tinkling sounds from the experience points. Uh, so this button might not be the probably the best way to do it. I mean, it was a little bit laggy. Uh, it didn't get all the items, but it got most of them. Uh, the point of that is going to be in the future when, you know, all my chests are full and I don't want to collect these items anymore. I could just hit that button. A little bit of lava comes out, destroys most of the items. Problem solved. Don't have to worry about getting in my inventory and then, you know, throwing it away later. All right. So I think uh, this system, the setup, not too bad. I mean, it does the job we want. And I think that's probably going to do it for today's episode, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Level 40, give me level 40. Ah, oh, not quite. <laughs> see you guys.